I'm going to go into my applications. I'm going to find text edit. So here is my text editor. Now, when you open up text edit for the first time, you may need to go into preferences, go to open save and turn on display HTML files as HTML code. If you don't have that turned on, you're going to get a different type of text edit window appearing. You also want to make sure when you go into um, new document and preferences, turn on plain text. If you have rich text set up, and I'll show you what happens here. When I go to new, I get this type of text edit window. It has this ruler set up here. Um, it looks a little bit different. I'll put these two text edit windows side by side. And what I'll also do is I'll bring that boilerplate code in. So here I'm just, um, I copied and pasted it. So this is the text edit window on a Mac that has the preference set up to rich text. And it has a font already set up. It looks like it has, um, I'm not sure what font this is, but it's a nice font. It looks pretty good. It looks really nice. I'll go into the other text edit window and that window does not have that ruler. So this is set in plain text mode as set the preferences. I'll paste the code in and it doesn't look as nice. So if you look here, it's this monospace font. The code itself does not look as pretty as this code, but this is what you want. So you don't want all this extra formatting on the font for the code, and I'll show you why. So I'm going to save both of these, and then I'm going to open these up in a web browser so you can see the difference. And the difference is due to the fact that this window here, Untitled 3, the preference was set to rich text and open save. I did not have display HTML turned on and in, title, in, and in this window, Untitled 2, if I go into the preference, the difference is um, HTML as files was turned on when I created the file. And when I created the document, I had plain text set up. Now, if I save these, I'm gonna save the first one. I will save this one as index. Uh, let's call it index rich text. Um, a note on saving your files for this class, your web pages. When you save a web page for the first time, always call it index.html, index.html. Um, here in the uh, file format, I'm going to pick HTML. So now this is called index.html and I will save it to my desktop. And this page here, um, doc type HTML, Um, let's see, I will save this as uh, index um, plain, because this is set up in plain text. And then I will uh, here for the extension, I will just make sure I use HTML as the extension. And I will also save this to the desktop. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my web browser and we're going to look at both of these. So here in Chrome, I'm just going to do a command or a control, control O for open. First, let's look at the rich text web page. I'm going to open that. And you see here, it just basically took what I had and took the code and displayed it as a web page. 
So this is what we don't want. So the problem here is the text editor is saving this as rich text and the rich, rich text contains code that's added to this to just display what I have in that rich text window for the text editor. If I open up the other file, the index plain.html, it says hello. And that's exactly what I want because now if you look inside this window here, where I had the plain text set up, that P tag down below has the word hello. In it. So this is what we want. So if for any reason, if you see the code appearing in the browser window, when you open it, that means you're using a rich text document and you have to make sure it's a plain text document. So the text editor in on a Mac, and it's also the same way on a Windows machine. It has all these added features. When web development was first starting with text editors, text editors were a lot more simple and they just created the text and that was it. So you, got, you have to make sure that the rich text feature is turned off. 